Go. Oh. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to Eastern Promises, Europa Universalis, for multiplayer featuring myself, North Line, as well as Matheson Arumba. Say hello. 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 <laughs> oh. hello. That you was said, a little bit of a, a false start. I forgot how XSplit actually right, records. Before, but. before we go into any deep explanation of what's happened, I suggest we hit unpause first. Okay, Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's try it out. So this is Northern Lion learning how to record. There we go, we're <laughs> yeah. good. Okay, we're, we're in. We did suffer a desync. We're going to hope that that was the only one. Hashtag blame NL. Yep. Exactly. It's trending really well, by the way. It, you know... My cloud score would really go up a lot more if you at least included my actual uh, Twitter handle in those F that shit. Uh, tweets, but I appreciate it. Yeah. You don't want to lose 33 prestige or gain plus two national revolt risk. Oh man, that sucks. Knowledge oh, is power, bitches. National revolt risk. Basically, here's the, the war that I'm fighting right now is the same way I play the Binding of Isaac. The best way to win Cry is just a lot? To, well, <laughs> yes. But the best way to win is just wait for them to eventually lose. <laughs> and they're only at 55% war score. It's going to take them a little while to actually get uh, get where they need to go. Are you guys actually going to come over here? You're going to Tumen. I'm going to try to hedge these guys off of the pass here then. Oh, don't go that way. Oh, no. There's a disregard. You really won't give me military access? <laughs> well, here comes the fight then. It's got to happen. But yeah, eventually I'm thinking, like, if I just don't let them full annex me, then the whole country will eventually end up getting involved in a war with somebody else. <coughs> Korea and Ming. <coughs> maybe. Please. And hey, then what? I can I'm maybe... busy right now. No, he's, a, you... he's a little far away to be involved in anything you've got going on. No, the Mongol Horde act is a, a vassal of the Oirat Horde. Or the Mongol Khanate, I should say. He, can, he almost borders them. He can make it happen. He just doesn't want to. Well, right now I'm using a combined, mostly mil mercenary army of, of Hindustan, as it's going to be mm. called in the future, to try to rectify our little problem here. I'm still fighting this 4-3 commander, which is brutal. Mm. Yeah, it sucks. End of the five years before Huang He converts to the right religion. So I got five years before my mission is over. Son of a bitch. Oh, that must be hard. I've been um, busy trying to get to 0% overextension. That's not yeah. my problem. Hey, I think with and the it, Brittany, the, the exported campaign, didn't I start at like 200%? It was and ridiculous, then, And yeah. then you sold me provinces that should have you, been mine. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted them, and you said yes, so I sold them to you. I didn't force you to, I didn't force you to send me the money. You, you could have not taken them. <laughs> it was just a bonus. Oh, no, my heir died. Not now. <laughs> Did you lose stability or anything? No, not yet. But I guess the good thing about waiting so long to actually, you know, have a series up again is that all my hatred towards you, Northern Lion, is gone. I appreciate it. You don't that. hate him anymore? No. You have a short memory. <laughs> Three weeks. Hey, check this out. In internet terms, it's forever. What? Their leader that I'd have to fight against to actually get my troops out of this area, and they have superior numbers, but their leader is 255. It's pretty solid. Five five shock this early on, my goodness. And you better believe you're always going to have a uh, a terrain disadvantage. Like, th it's not really well documented, but it was kind of confirmed on the forums that the maneuver score determines whether you get like mountains. Oh. Okay. Like like if you press Q and you're looking at the terrain and it says like the percentage of each territory, hmm. that's, that's complete nonsense. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not saying that there's like a 13% chance of this terrain, 13% chance of this. It's no. It's going to be who, whichever general has the higher maneuver score, it's going to pick the most favorable terrain for hmm. that side of the army. That sucks. So, something for to consider. Me. 255, really dangerous for you. I don't disagree. And the worst part is if they would just accept like a half decent piece, I could totally get a bunch of people actually like al al allied with me. That was a difficult word for me to get out. La 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 Go allied. Golden Horde, Muscovy, Kara, Koyunlu. I mean, they would, they, well, some of those are my allies anyway, but they won't come into the war. How's Ming doing? Call to arms. Ming, Negative 1869. men. Hmm. Thank God Ming is an ally. <laughs> they have 85,000? 
55,000. Oh, well, still, Jesus, but... Okay. They have 36,000 infantry, 18,000 cavalry. I... I may take out loans and buy some mercenaries. Sounds desperate. I'd give you money, but I'm making 1.7 gold a month. It's okay. Damn, games, I don't even see you. So. Games designed to make taking out loans. Uh, oh, okay. Just yeah. Necessary. Go ahead. Keep spewing the devs' quotes to make <laughs> yourself feel better. This is what I've been told. I refuse. This is how we fight back from this war. The bank. Exactly. Raise it's inflation. true reality that uh, the bank will get you out for a hefty sum. Yeah, I just had to take out 300 ducats in loans. Oh, turn, Jesus. Turn this war around. All right, well, if Aruma's doing it, then yeah. I don't feel bad about <laughs> doing it, too. All right, well, you and I, I think we talked about it before. Like, if, if, if taking out the loans now means that you end up getting a leg up <laughs> for the next 100 yeah. years, you should just do it. it makes sense. It's but, like, a, you know, starting a retirement fund or something like that. Well, I don't know if you'd want to take out loans to start a retirement fund. No, that would be that would be bad. But um, you know, the earlier, if, if it's going to be a financial cost, you might as well do it earlier. E exactly. If, like the interest yeah. that you are paying is nothing compared to having like three more provinces. Yeah. Not gonna not to change subject, but Japan is incredibly volatile right now. They are just they've been fighting each other for years. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There's people playing like a Shogun Total War Two multiplayer series over there right now. Right. Yep. Not nearly as good as our series, though. You just so, gotta zoom in super close. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in. I oh. am so compelled to westernize, even though it's not possible. I, I'm just, <laughs> I don't like playing as anything other than a western tech. I'm so far away from westernizing. I'm, oh, well, I'm, like... We have to wait for, like, Muscovy to... Or, like, Muscovy to westernize, and then probably... Eventually, I'll be able to do it, and it'll spread through here. I'm gonna go sub-Saharanize. I'm gonna go... Can you no. do that? <laughs> no, but I want to. I'm gonna go like mingle with them and then convert to their tech group. Be fun. Two five five. Ming, you should it... proclaim a guarantee on me to let me know that I'm safe. That'd be good. That's like actually a, a bad You're... sign. Are they gonna pro proclaim a guarantee on me? Yeah, the AI only proclaims a guarantee when they intend to vassalize and annex you. Oh. <laughs> well, let's not do that. If you're allied, it's already effectively the same thing as a guarantee. Oh, okay. A guarantee just means that they aggressively plan on vassalizing and annexing. Arumba, what do you think's better right now? One, two, four as a military leader, or zero, three, three? Zero, three, three. Okay. Absolutely, hands down. Because know. Cause the shock value is it's just it's just so important. And then the maneuver is pretty nice. Um, well, okay, so but, I have a I have a zero, three, three. What about a three, three, two? Probably the three, three, two. Okay. Because because you can still choose to fight in terrain where, like, you can still like. Would you rather have better terrain so that sometimes you get an extra plus one roll, essentially mm. because you have favorable terrain, or would you rather have a permanent plus, plus bonus to your fire value? The permanent bonus is better. Okay. Thank you like. for answering your own question for me because I didn't know where to go with that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like a Hail Mary type thing. Like, yeah, maybe the extra maneuver school would be great if you're defending in the mountains next to Venice, which I've done before. Like, I think it's in Ferrara or something mm. over there. It's amazing when you, you've got the mountain defense bonus, river crossings, and all that stuff, but it's not always going to be guaranteed. This is my last-ditch effort here. Oh, they actually won the siege just in time. And I'm going to have a minus for a river crossing, I think. Yeah, but come on, you can do it. You cannot do it at all. We accept the Manchu culture. You really like to hear that, Mattis. Just saying. <sighs> I accepted the offer from the Oirat Horde. This is bad. So how small are you now? Well, which part of me? <laughs> all parts. <laughs> the part where my sore lives. Uh, that's that's the other that's the other guy. That's a Roomba. My sore. <laughs> yeah, this is nasty. I don't know how to help you, though. You're too far away. I can't even see you, so I can't even click on you. Yeah, neither can I. Like, You've you're gained not the trade dispute causes belly against Japan. They are threatening our trade. They've just embargoed you. Oh, no. If only I cared. 
<laughs> you should. I can't do anything. They have way more manpower than I do. Yeah. Hmm. Did I already do a royal marriage? Oh, I should. Hmm. Let's see, Japan. 13,000 infantry, 5,000 cavalry. I'm good. Really need to get this alliance up ASAP. I, I can't move my, my troops from one province to the other because I, I can't get military access from either of my neighbors. How does this work? If I, I'm actually able to ask Orissa to, to become my vassal, but they have vassals of their own. That is really good. I don't understand. If you like, get their vassals by proxy. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how that ends up getting resolved. Or maybe they become independent. I'm going to attack Manchu shortly. You know what's almost no. guaranteed, though? Is um, a desync, probably. <laughs> yeah. That'll be what happens. Why are you saying no, Ryan? I need to attack Manchu, man. No. Why? You should, uh... No, I can't. I don't even see you. I can't no, see you. No, you should attack you. the Oirat Horde, man. No way. They're huge. Yeah, you have Ming on your side. Oirat Horde. Let's take a look. And they have the Mongol Khanate as their vassal, right? Yeah, they, they don't have very many regiments anymore. They, they blew almost all of them in their conquest of my provinces. So Oirat Horde alone have 13,000 men. On no them. big deal, man. Ming the has Mongol, Oh, the Mongol only have three. Yeah. So I would have to declare war and then hope they joined in on my well, side. Well, you can you can mouse over and see if they're going to accept. What? Where? Like when you do the call to arms, or when you do the war declaration. Mm-hmm. If I do... They mm -hmm. rule over... I don't see where... Oh, call in willing allies. Most Likelihood of joining the war. A gigantic no. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> It's a big enemy. Mm. Man, they won't even attack. They won't even join my war to attack these guys. Can't do a royal marriage with Muscovy. Should have thought oh. of that. Oh, religion. Not the same religion, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the answer to the question then is that Garjat just became independent. So even though they were vassal, and I didn't have to actually demand that they break the relationship, they just mm. automatically became independent. So that's interesting. Yeah, so they, they became unvassalized as a result. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I can't attack oh, Manchu for another year, so... Gotta wait. Weirdly enough, I'm still kind of, like, okay with the situation that I'm in, I think. Oh, man, I just attacked Rebels with low maintenance. <laughs> I'm not so good at this <laughs> game right now. This is a dumb mistake. Oh, gosh. It's been a while. It is. It has. Thanks for reminding me to pull my army maintenance down. Just don't Ooh. forget to bring it back up. I totally forgot about my army maintenance. <laughs> See? It's, uh, only one of us had to make the mistake. <laughs> I'll just put my fleet maintenance down to like zero. Yeah, mine's down at zero too, which is maximum when you have no boats. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing any naval fighting and I don't plan on it, so... You gonna fight some belly buttons, Mathis? You have a any versus Audi? Yeah, what do you want to say? I don't know. I want to wait until my overextension goes down to zero. <clears throat> Which will be done in two years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to lose 50 in min or 10 prestige. 50 in min for me. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Prestige yeah. is really? minus 17. Oh, I would definitely take the prestige personally. Admin power is just so good. Nah. I, have, nah. I still have 40 prestige. I can lose 10. I, I just can't afford to lose more prestige, I think. Ob obscurate, obscurantism has expired in the Korea. What the hell is obscurantism? Plus 2% revolt risk. Oh, mm -hmm. that thing that I picked. It's on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never had a problem, so. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, somebody had made yeah. an interesting point on the forums. Like, It's kind of curious. Why is there a maximum to your manpower? Like, you should just be able to have as many troops as you as you can afford, and as many men are available. It's probably just well, a, it's just probably just a balancing mechanic. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, I'm not saying that the person in the forums is wrong, but it is. It pulls from like able-bodied men, 
right, of the actual population. Like, theoretically, I don't know if it actually pulls from a value for that in the game, but, you know, you, you couldn't have, like, a one-province country or a one-province miner that has, like, a million manpower because that would just be more men than could conceivably actually exist on that land. Yep, that's true. That's true. But from, like, a Civ standpoint, that makes sense, yeah, they, you should just be able to keep building. Speaking of Civ, Civ Beyond Earth. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. that um, I saw the trailer for that about a thousand times you at know. <laughs> PAX East while in the Evolve booth. And it looks, the trailer was really good. It's a teaser. So yeah, yeah. there's no gameplay at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. It, I can't yeah. tell. This is randomly an off topic. Is it going to be an expansion to Civ or is it going to be no, a separate it's, game? It's a brand new game. Okay, that's what I thought. Civ 5 is so popular. Every time I go to like Steam charts, Civ 5 is in the top 10 games being played. Yeah, I have have been heavily contemplating doing a playthrough of, of it on my channel. Super popular game. Just uh cuz RimWorld has run its course in my opinion so mm. far, so. Although my experience has been that Civ 5 very fun to play, not very fun to watch. Yeah. That's a very Actually, common piece of feedback. I can imagine it's a little slow. There's not a lot of uh intrigue going on so much as there is in like a CK2 series or an EU4 series. Yeah. Now I'm immediately going back on my loans and trying to go down in debt. But I'm trying to avoid loans as much as I can. I only have three. I'm trying to save up my, my, my tech points. I really want to get to tech military tech three. Mm-hmm. I have not spent any military points so far, but I'm only gaining seven a month. Well, you so just want just... The, the land morale? I just need to get up there. I can't let that shit lag behind. Like, Manchu's mm -hmm. at Tech yeah. 3. I won last time they were at Tech 3, which is obviously not a big difference, but it's still... The In longer... hindsight, yeah. it was a really dumb decision for me to take all those loans, buy mercenaries, and then just like end up losing the next then, battle anyway. But you didn't know that was going to happen. Right, it was a gamble, but it sets me back. But we're only a year away from 0% overextension. Oh my god. Yay! That's a big, big change from like negative 90. It is. Uh, a big help was, uh, you know, when they took three of the provinces that still had no cores. <laughs> <laughs> overextension went away because we lost half our land. <laughs> Basically. I really should have just lost, like, surrendered the first war, and then this 150 admin power uh, core would have just vanished so that would have been nice but oh well hmm you need 25 more uh, relations with Muscovy to get an alliance but I can't get it send him money oh wait you don't have any uh, not take out a loan enough. and send him money <laughs> I took out this loan for you yeah, in you order to get tw in order to get 25 points I would have to send them like well Roughly seven times twenty. I had to send them like hundred and eighty gold, basically. Damn. Sounds worth it. <clears throat> it could be, but you know, not right now. With where, while well, they're still, um, <laughs> I think they actually lost to Novgorod. They've lost land to them. So this is actually me just giving terrible advice again. That's, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, every now and then, I like to do that. So just be cautious. That's good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna up my Diplotech to Diplotech three soon. Woo! What? What? Watch out! Diplotech three. Yep. You get the early Karak. <laughs> I need 19, I need 14 rather. 1454 to show up. Can so place can... merchants. I already, <laughs> can't you already do that? Choo choo. At level one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone starts at less than level one. Do they? Uh, I don't know actually. Hmm. Well. Kara Koyun Lu has disputed succession, but unfortunately, you need more prestige than them to claim the throne. Jesus, Chinese technology ups ups the base cost of this stuff by sixty percent. Yeah, mine's <laughs> at uh, plus fifty, so I have to pay nine hundred points matter, just to get matter, one right, level you like that sound effect. Level. I just didn't get that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. Nah, I should probably get some advisors soon. I have an advisor. I have one advisor, yeah. But I might fire him now. I don't really need him oh, anymore. Oh, wow, there you go. I used him so I could hurry up and get Ming as an ally. He gave Makes me sense. a better relations over time, 30%. So I'm actually going to fire him. I don't need him anymore. 
All right. Peace, bitch. Get out here. Um. There's I'm making an extra gold. And who deserves a diplomat? Kazan. Current one second. One second. I ain't ready, bit. <laughs> As usual, there's just a little bit more to take care of. Uh, cashmere. They make great sweaters. I'm not sure if it's the same kind of cashmere. <laughs> <laughs> it might actually be. I don't know. Could be, yeah. Crimea? Yeah. Crimea? River? Will you accept a Crimea, Crimea yeah. River? Uh -huh. Jokes. Nobody else wants alliances with me. All right. Watch out. Diplotech I'll, 3. I'll yeah. be your ally. Totally. I could I could send a diplomat there. You want to make an alliance? Can you can you send a diplomat to me? We uh, haven't met. I, I, I can talk to you, yeah. Try it. I, I can't actually offer you an alliance because you don't like me. But what we can do is... Uh, yeah, I like You don't like me. I can't see you, but I don't, you don't We can like exchange military access and like each other. Awesome. I can't... This I, is still, I can't send... I, I can't even find you on the map, so I can't... <laughs> I don't think I can negotiate or send anything to you. Let me try. Okay. Um, All right. Can you see from like your diplomat diplomatic relations menu now? Let's see. Has military access through Malabar. Grants military access to Uzbek. If I click on that, I can... Okay, now I've got a miss. I have no diplomats to send, but yeah, I think I can. I can negotiate with you. Okay, cool. Wow. Uh, cool. Let's end this episode then. Sure. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, especially as the series is in its infancy. Uh, your support means a lot. In any case, thanks for watching. Check out the different descriptions or the different uh, perspectives in the description below. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you soon.